What's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at this budget brushless four-wheel drive 10th scale short course truck. See how fast this will go out of the box. Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. I know he's taking a nap and Popeye's battening down the hatches. We're the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. Today we're at the big giant empty parking lot. Bye to do a speed test on this ZD Racing budget friendly for what it is, 10th scale four wheel drive RC truck. Brushless power, LiPo battery, ready to run for about 160 bucks. Really nice little transmitter. What we're gonna do today is strap our GPS meter on the back of this and see how fast it'll go. I don't see any false promises that they're making. I'm just curious. It comes with a 2S battery and we're gonna test it on that first. Then we're gonna put our 3S battery in here and see if it can go much faster. Plus, we cannot do any more speed tests without our patented power patches. <laughs> these patented. are patented. These are the RC Sailors power patches. We hired scientists. It only took a quarter of a million dollars for them to figure out that these run on Funtonium, a very rare material in the RC world. You slap one of these puppies directly above your motor, and as long as you're having fun, it's guaranteed to go at least two to three miles an hour faster. Your truck or vehicle will be 10 times more durable and we'll all have more fun and it'll help keep our lights on and our channel running. So if you want to support us and get some of your own amazing RC Sailor stickers, we'll have that through our Patreon page linked in the description box below. Also, we'll have this link down there too. Let's see how fast this goes and have some fun. Power patch, power patch. Funtonium activated? Funtonium is activated. I can feel the speed picking up already. Power patch. Power patch. Honestly, those stickers really do look good. I mean, I'm really happy with those, yeah. don't they? They just look so good. So these say the RC Sailors, but when we don't have enough room for them, we just cut off the da and it's RC Sailors. So we have a bunch of da 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 everywhere. Bag of, <laughs> a bag full of buzz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, wow, okay. Hey, I don't even have to trim this. Now on 2S power, this is not bad at all. Let's, I want to get really close. Here we go. 10th scale, $160. Really not bad. Of course, it's probably one of the slowest things we've done a speed test on in a while, but we're talking about well under 200 bucks here. Let's see what we did. Let's see what we did. 35. 35 kilometers an hour. That's not pretty slow. bad. On a course, this would be okay. Is that like 18, 20 miles an hour? Something 20, like that. 20 something. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the conversion will be on the screen. <laughs> it's been a long day. Our our water heater just like, yeah, we're, we're having some house issues. Abby, your turn. Already? Yes. All right, all right, Abby. All right, all right, do it, do it, do it. Go, go, go. See if you can beat 35. Then we'll put the 3S battery in there and see how fast it can really go. This thing has a 45 amp ESC on board. And I, oh, I love short course. We'll have, we'll have more information linked on it in the description box below for the size and that speed. That sticks to the road really well. Oh, really well. 2S power. Keep in mind, this is the same battery that we'll use in our crawlers. Not bad. Okay. I'm going to say you probably didn't beat the speed. You don't know me. Let's put the 3S. That's what everybody wants to see. We are at 35. No. So we tied. Let me put in the better battery. I forgot that I always show you guys the insides. Excuse the car running there, keeping it cool for us. But uh, I show you the insides on these speed runs. Oops, look at that. I unplugged all the battery. That's okay. They're made to do that. So I have brought my little V-Car racing battery. Here's our nice brushless motor. This is, the thing about short course trucks is they're such a simple layout compared to like some monster trucks and stuff. These are very easy to work on. And that's ideal because if you're racing these at the track, you don't want to have complex things and you have to take a bunch of things apart to make it happen. So uh, yeah, there we go. Nice and easy, quick work under the hood. Got the bigger, better. Oops, got to plug it in. <laughs> this is the quality you guys get when you're here at the RC Sailors. A guy that can't remember to plug in the battery. I can feel the power. The power patch is kicking in. Oh yeah, way, way faster. Just kind of ease into the throttle so I maintain control. We'll do a nice fast pass here. Yeah. Significantly faster. Let's, I'll juice it. Even juicing it. 
On rails. On rails. Yeah, it holds to the road really On well. On rails. Yes, it does. That's me just having some fun. Let's bring it in. Oh, look at that. My tape is already flapping. <laughs> okay, how'd we do? Oh, wow. Oh. It's, it's blurry, it's 56. blurry, it's blurry, it's blurry! Focus! There we go. 56 kilometers an hour, that's fast! We're it went up. blurry again! There we go. 56 kilometers an hour, that, that's fast. We're picking up some speed now. That's a good, reputable speed. For a truck that is significantly under $200, ready to run. <laughs> okay, now you're not blurry anymore. <laughs> For a truck that is significantly under $200, I think that's a very fair speed. It seems to be holding up really well. What we're going to do next, after Abby takes this and does her say. run, yeah, we'll take it bashing. And we have new stomping grounds that we're excited to test specifically short course trucks out. Because let's face it, the hill that we do normally bash at isn't very good for short course trucks. So I'm really pumped. Anyway, Abby, let's see if you can beat that. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. A GPS meter is going to fall off there. Nice. That is quick. That is quick. For that price, okay, and ZD Racing does a good job on their monster trucks, so I hope, I hope their short course truck holds up well. What are you doing? What are you doing? You are so fired. You are so fired. Hold on, hold on. Maybe I got a higher speed than you now. It doesn't count. 56. 56 so actually i win because i did not wreck it <laughs> why is this so blurry today 56 just take my word there we go the screen needs clean why is it that on the speed test you seem to just destroy our seas <laughs> you've blown tires you roll them listen we're on a flat perfectly i am smooth. giving it my all to beat you okay fair <laughs> fair and good answer <laughs> guys I don't know that this would ever hold up to something like Arma. Okay, they're just absolutely killing it. If you like the Arma stuff, check out our channel. We've got some really great Arma vehicles and videos to, to be seen. Maybe we'll link one or two in the description box below. But if you're on a budget, you wanna try a short course truck for a 10th scale brushless motor that's ready to run, this is so far a really quick little truck. Don't forget, if you want your vehicles to go faster, look better, Go for those Power Patch stickers. Power Patch, baby, Power Patch. They'll be linked in the description box below. In all seriousness, it helps our channel a lot, and you guys get some cool stuff to show for the support. We thank all of our current patron supporters so much. We couldn't do these videos without you guys. In the future, we're gonna have this bashing very soon. I cannot wait to go test this on the bashing stomping grounds. You guys, you're awesome. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye! Ooh. Oh, slipper clutch, maybe. This is, we're going, this, this should be a very interesting bashing video. You guys are going to want to see this. <laughs>